Hello Virgo, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you all so much for joining me. I do appreciate you all. You like your uh, subscriptions, your comments, all of that good stuff. All right, so if you have Virgo placements, this could resonate, Twin Flame Tuesday. Let's get into it, all right? This could be past, present, or future energy. Also could be someone else in your energy field. So only take what resonates and leave the rest with someone else. Let's see what we got going on here. We start off with your channel song of the day being Stay by Rihanna. I want you to stay. Um, I don't know the lyrics to that song, y'all. Besides, I want you to stay. And I don't feel like looking it up. So y'all can listen to that song. <laughs> we have um, your shadow or light message of the day is I go back because it's comfortable. Wow. With stay. A toxic ex, dysfunctional love, third party, bad habits, addictions, destructions. I mean, destructive patterns in history. Hmm. So somebody that you either have history with or they have history with someone else. Somebody here is stuck in some kind of karmic cycle. Let's get into what this is about. Because they could be, your your twin could be dealing with someone else. Spirit, please show me what I need to see for Virgo. We have broken dreams. Only you can accept or reject or reject your dreams. Number 23. Hmm. Somebody could play basketball. Every time I see 23, I think of Michael Jordan. Somebody's name could be Michael. <laughs> maybe Jordan. Or maybe that's your last name or your person's last name. Only you can accept or reject your dream. So stop. Okay. You know what I feel? I feel like somebody has broken your heart here because they've gone back to some type of dynamic with someone else. Like a family situation with someone else that wants them to stay, even though they know it's toxic. Let's get some messages and see what's going on here. That's just what I feel. I don't feel like this is necessarily for you and your person. It could be. Um, maybe going back and forth. You know, you break up, you get back together. But there's third parties here. There's some kind of bad habits or addictions or something going on. Somebody could have even missed out on living their dream because of addictions. It could be like actual like drug addictions, alcohol addiction, any kind of those kind of dependency things. Please give me a second chance. Hmm. <laughs> I don't feel like they went back to someone else and hurt you. That's just what I feel. I do. And I feel like they went back to something that they know is no good, y'all. The thought of you drives me crazy. There is no one else. Thinking about you all day. And this is what I feel like you may be doing. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. Bottom of the deck, I'm trying to be someone you can trust. So they're letting you know that they go back to other situations or another situation because this person asked them to stay. Somebody's name could be Rihanna. They asked them to stay. And it's like, please give me a second chance. I feel like this person might be torn between you and someone else. That they have your three children, a marriage, something else with. What's going on right now? Please give me a second chance. Oh. Take these. Yep. This is an a Leo or Aries or a Sagittarius, possibly. Could be also a Pisces here. There's someone here that I feel like they walk away from and go back to because they're so familiar with them. And it feels like it could be a fire sign or a Pisces, or you're dealing with a fire sign or a Pisces. Please give me a second chance. This could be the mother of their child. What does this card say? It says, your natural confidence is a talent you can all you can call on always. And then we have th uh, looking at the world from a different perspective. Well, yeah, I already know that. That's what the hangman is. I feel like things are in limbo with you because they've gone back to someone else. That they have, they keep giving second, third, fourth, 20th chances to, you know. The thought of you drives me crazy. Look at this. You have so much love for this person. We got two queens here. I know that I knew that there was a third party. You got two queens confirming that. So they have love for you, but they still have an attraction or some type of toxic connection to this ex-person, y'all. And the other person plays on the fact that they know. I just feel like they broke your heart. Look, there is no one else thinking about you all day. And this is you. You want to offer them this love. You want to be the one that they choose, basically. Cancer Pisces or Scorpio coming through really heavy for you. This says express your creativity with compassionate, loving emotion. This is all about affection, deep feelings, emotions, wearing your heart on your sleeve, following your heart. So you keep following your heart to them and they keep running back to someone else. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. This is them to you. What do they want to say? 
this is hard for both of us. I'm just too proud to show it. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, Taurus energy with the Seven of Pentacles. Wow. I'm trying to be someone you can trust. So they feel like you're worth the worth the while, worth the investment. They're working on it. They're trying to make the effort here. What does this say? Looking back on what you have achieved gives you the learning to set your goals. So some lessons have been learned here from mistakes being made. Let's get this uh, going. A couple more oracle cards and some advice and we will be done. So this person is... They keep going back to an ex. She might be using the kids against them. They won't leave me alone. I'm trying to move on. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. You just can't make it up. If I ever have a doubt that I, I'm, I'm doing the wrong thing, the cards confirm for me I'm not. This is This is crazy. I left because I know, because I knew you would never... Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I left because I knew you never would. I couldn't keep hurting you. So see, they feel bad. Wow. I want to cry. This is so sad. Okay. Wow. It says this is hard for both of us. I'm just too proud to show it. So they feel like they made this sacrifice. Oh, this is a sacrifice. It's like surrendering a connection. Because you feel like you have to, you want to be fair. But I'm telling you, it's because of this Queen of Wands. There's somebody else here. Either your person is a Queen of Wands, um, and that's a very attractive, confident person. Could be very persuasive. They can get their way. You know, they're well liked and you know, very very good looking. So definitely um, also represents fertility. They could even have this person pregnant because um, the Queen of Wands sits with her legs like open. I don't know if y'all can see. Her legs are open and they're they're that way because it represents fertility and the wand is a phallic symbol so definitely a lot of traction possibly already have children or has someone pregnant at this time all right whether you know that or not something definitely broke your heart here when you least expect it this is cancer energy so some of them will pop back up when you least expect it. I feel like also it's been very unpredictable being with this person. You never knew when they were going to walk away from you, be with this other person. I wish we never met. Mm. It would have spared us both so much pain and heartache. Wow. Broken dreams. This person just shattered everything here. That's Pisces energy as well. That's like somebody that you thought was your everything. You know, I didn't mean to hurt you. That's what they want you to know. That's going to be the title of your um your reading. I didn't mean to hurt you. Please give me a second chance. Yeah. All right. Um, advice for you, and we are done. We have alone time. Spending some time alone and apart keeps a relationship interesting and balanced. This card also indicates time apart and being single. And I definitely need to see that because they have gone back to someone else for a lot of you. Not everybody, but even if they're not with this person right now. They've definitely done this to you several times. I don't like that, but, you know. Anyway, Virgo, those are your messages. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment if this resonated, and I will see you all. When I see you all, peace.